What is up everybody? We're back. Well, I'm back from Australia. Um, I don't even, I don't even know where to start with you guys. It's been a long time. Really long time. So I'm gonna try to not talk for too long. Keep it short, keep it brief, keep it fast, keep it moving. Um, but yeah, a lot of stuff has happened. Um, went to Australia, came back. It was still winter. So before Australia, I was having some ankle problems. Um, I told you guys that before. Um, so my left ankle was bothering me. Um, I had I was seeing a bunch of doctors. Um, physio was trying to look at it. My uh, chiropractor was trying to look at it. We were just trying to tape it. Um, ended up getting a cortisone shot in my ankle. Um, didn't really work. Uh, and then I got uh, three more injections. Um, I think it's called OrthoVisc. Um, it's just to help with like cushioning and stuff. That took the edge off, allowed me to train a little bit more. So yeah, about two weeks before leaving to Australia, training was going well. Um, was able to sprint and start doing more technique stuff, uh, just fine tuning stuff, because I was still in shape from base season. So. It's just like getting the technical aspect going. Um, and then flew over to Australia. It is a super long flight, but it is worth it. So when I was down there, training was going well again, um, but I think I was running a little bit different to kind of compensate for my left ankle being a little bit sore. Um, I might've put a little bit more pressure on my right ankle. So my Achilles actually flared up when I was down there. Um, had an excellent, uh, physio staff down there, they were treating it, um, massage, acupuncture, just trying to get it to kind of cool down. Um, this was roughly a week before we were due to compete. So it was pretty hectic of trying to train still, um, trying to keep myself like mentally prepared, but also try to get like the Achilles going. Um, my left ankle wasn't thinking about it at all and it was just my right Achilles. Fast forward to the competition day. Uh, wake up, it's pretty, feels pretty good. Um, don't really think about it when I'm doing my morning shakeout. Um, and yeah, had some breakfast, uh, get, got all my stuff ready, went to the venue, did my warm up. Um, great venue, great track. Australia did a fantastic job, just to let you guys know. Get the spikes on, put them on, still feeling good. It's like, okay, I think it's behind me. Now it's time to focus on just competition and like blowing everybody out of the water. So I'm in the heat with uh, Pierce, uh, Damien, um, Cedric, Dubler, and a Kenyan athlete. Um, so we're in the faster heat. Obviously Damien can run like 10-2, Cedric is very quick, uh, Pierce can run like 10-5, so everybody's really quick, so I'm just, in my head I'm saying, okay, like just go out with them and like stay up tall, don't try to chase them, like they're probably gonna run away, just like run in your own lane, finish strong. So get out, have a good drive phase, and then once I get up, I kind of feel the Achilles, I'm like, mm, and then finish, um, ran like 11.0 something, so not a good time for me at all. After the race, I'm like, okay, like that kind of hurt, it's a little bit stiff, like, just let it calm down. We have 45 minutes before long jump. We'll, we'll be okay. So go back, get the shoes off, get ready for long jump. Uh, so we're walking out there. It's still a little bit stiff. And I, in my head, I had planned to just to do one jump and get it jump like 750, get it over with, pass the rest of them because my left ankle has been a little bit sore. And now that my right ankle is sore, like that's definitely the, the plan. So do my first uh, run through, I can kind of feel my Achilles, it's unfortunate. Do my second one, still kind of feel it, but it didn't get any worse, so I was like, okay. So just get one jump in, and we'll be good. And then go on to shot put, and then we'll have a six hour break until high jump. So running down the runway, you can still kind of feel it, and then it goes out of my mind. And then take my first jump. It, it wasn't the greatest, 7.14. That's not good for myself at all. Um, and yeah, the Achilles just like really didn't feel good. So I told uh, the coach like, no, I'm, I'm done. Like even though it's 7.14, like I wanna not 
fully injure myself like it's really sore so I just want to pass the rest of them and then go to shot put and just kind of see what happens after that so head over to shot put ankles still sore obviously and yeah the warm-ups feeling really really good um, I was telling you guys I was having problems with my elbow that's not an issue just pushing it hard catching it really early feeling great so I throw my first one I think it's just over 15 so it's like okay this is the one I'm gonna go for it on this next one if I don't get it then I still have one more so second throw throw 15 50 something I can't remember um, but huge throw huge P outdoor PB for me feeling good and then on my last one I just telling Damien like I'm just gonna rip my arm just boom did that through like 14 and a half so obviously that didn't work but I tried um, after that we have a like six hour break because at major meets they have a morning session and an afternoon session so the decathletes have a longer break obviously because they don't do anything in between so we head back to the room me and Damien we plan on eating sleeping getting ready again and going back so when we're going back my Achilles is just getting worse and worse and worse uh, take a little bit of a nap wake up and it's no better um, so I just said let's just go back to the track try to do a warm-up for high jump see how it feels if you can't jump you can't jump don't ruin my whole season for this or if it feels good just go from there so get back to the track and I go to try to do a warm-up lap and it's just like completely seized up hurts to walk hurts to stretch my calf so me and the coach just made the right call of just saying it's not worth like tearing your Achilles because then you'll have years of recovery so just just call it here it's sore it's a major meet but there's no need to ruin my whole outdoor season or the next two seasons because I tried to do something and then I completely ruptured my Achilles so it was hard it's a hard pill to swallow um, not gonna lie major meat that I had to drop out of, but it's okay. I had the experience um, watching them compete. I know that I'm right up there with all of them. I feel like if I was healthy, in shape, I could have been right up there with all of them, top five, top four, top three. So I know I'm on the right track. It's just now I need to focus on my weight, my nutrition, and staying healthy. Um, so recovery, stretching, um, all the little things that go into recovery. I just need to get those things hammered out and then I think I'll make world championships next year for sure um, and the Olympics the next year after that. So Caroline called me when I was over there and she, we've always talked about adopting a dog um, or fostering a dog just to get them out of the kennel so we can like give them a good place to stay and then hopefully they'll get adopted by a good family. So she went to the London Humane Society, looked at a couple dogs, asked about fostering, and they said, unfortunately, we don't foster, they just adopt. Um, so she saw Chuck, he's a husky mix. Um, he kind of looks like a husky chocolate lab mix, kind of short thingy. He's a little bit overweight, they said. He's been here since December, and then we adopted him. I'm just gonna come out and say it. We adopted a dog, Chuck. He's inside right now. Um, you'll see him later in the vlog. Um, he is seven years old, so we did adopt the oldest dog in the kennel because everybody goes in, wants the puppies, wants like the one-year-old, and we, want, we wanted to give a dog a happy life moving forward, even though he's older. So we wanted to get the older dog uh, because we just don't want to see him sit there for months on months on months or years. We went in there, got the oldest guy, Chuck Charles, Charles Barkley, we call him sometimes. Um, thanks for being patient. I see we have a couple more subscribers, uh, but I haven't posted anything. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys liked the first video that I've posted since you guys have subscribed. And yeah, yeah. Happy to be back. Um, now we 
me and Caro are just training for pretty much nationals. Uh, they're in July, so you guys are going to see a lot more videos finally because hopefully things are going to be going in the right direction. And yeah, thanks again for staying tuned. Um, yeah, I'm going to work outside for a bit and then we are going to show you what it looks like. So I'm going to cut to then right about now. So this is the backyard. Are you guys ready? It's a big change. So yeah, we obviously installed the fence. Somebody really likes it. So I'm just about to lift. Uh, um, I'm gonna lift uh, right there. And yeah. Thank God there is some sun out finally. Yeah. Not really doing anything in particular. Uh, start practice again tomorrow, so just want to get the body moving. Chuck thinks I'm talking to somebody, but okay. So what I'm gonna do is uh, 12. What I'm gonna do is 12 deadlifts to nine cleans, hang cleans to six overhead presses. It's like a CrossFit workout thingy. Do that a couple times. Just get the body moving. Yeah. That was a lot harder <laughs> than I thought it was going to be. Hello world. It's been a while. We miss vlogging. But um, as you guys already know, Taylor's the one who does the editing magic. So I wasn't trying to do anything while he was gone. <sighs> My favorite thing about our new backyard is the new mammal we share it with. Chuck. Okay, so I'm gonna do one more set of this, and then something else. I don't know what. Getting a lot of definition up here. Hoo wee!
that's the end of the vlog. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed our backyard. Hope you enjoyed Chuck. And again, he thinks, whoa, the squirrel just thought he was gonna get out. Okay, thanks for watching, bye.